the filing of financial information as well as all types of business reporting uh, include a tremendous amount of manu manual steps and consolidation and so forth. It's laborious, it's costly, and uh, etc. So uh, in order to facilitate the reuse of data uh, and the exchange and analysis uh, uh, of data, XBRL uh, uh, has been proposed. It's a standardized way to tag uh, individual items. Here's a little example of what it looks like. Uh, XBRL is my specialty, so I, I kind of do this part of the uh, presentation. Uh, uh, here you might think of um, a standard presentation of assets. Um, if we focus on just a small part of it, like the cash and cash equivalents and the short-term investments, uh, uh, using XBRL, we can tag those pieces of information so that um, that balance up there in cash and cash equivalents of 901.617 can be actually tagged with a standard tag, cash, cash equivalents. But then you need a lot more information in order to interpret it. It looks kind of complex here. When you actually get into it, it's not that complex. But the point is, uh, we tag pieces of data in a standard way, we add context to it. We actually move this a lot further along to being information as opposed to data. Just that little number up there is a piece of data. When we tag it uh, uh, with uh, um, uh, using XBRL, we've moved, it, we've moved it significantly along the continuum toward being information. Uh, and, and that's a big point that needs to be made uh, about the contribution of XBRL. Uh, 